All right, guys. Just wanted to uh, make another video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but uh, I'm gonna take you into Sandy Ridge, North Carolina. Right now, I'm still in uh, in Rockingham County, so not quite there yet, but we'll make it. And as you can see. Uh, we're on Highway 770 going westward. And as you can see, the elevation is starting to get a little bit higher. Sandy Ridge is a really quiet uh, community. You're not going to find a lot going on out here, but it's a great, great place to come. Um, if you were, you know, if you like to just drive and see views, good scenery, and you know, you want somewhere quiet to uh, quiet to live. I tend to uh, to like to come up here as well, and it's Sandy Ridge is directly um, north of where uh, Walnut Cove is. Sandy Ridge stretches into Stokes County and um, you know the, the mountain ranges up there up here actually um, stretch right on up into Virginia so I mean like I said you can see you guys can see the, uh, the scenery here a lot of farmland a lot of hills a lot of wooded areas Basically, um, kind of like a carbon copy, if you will, of uh, Wentworth and Walnut Cove. If you guys ever come up here, be sure to pay attention to the speed signs because up here there are cops that hide all over the place. And if you're coming around, come barreling around a curve too fast, you're not going to be able to see them before they see you. So, just a word to the wise. And as you can see, the curves are starting to get a little bit sharper just like they were in, uh, just like they are in Wentworth. Sorry about the music, guys. Um, I didn't realize it was that loud, but I figured I'd cut that off because it would probably start mixing in with my voice, and that's just not good for, it's not, doesn't make for a good, uh, good driving video. I would have shot this video with my HD uh, my HD cam but I kind of forgot it at home it's charging so this is gonna have to do I think it'll still make for a decent decent video but I don't know if you saw that sign back there but it said welcome to Ayersville Ayersville is just outside of Sandy Ridge it's real it's a very, very rural, rural um, part of Rockingham County. And now, as you can see, we've crossed over into Stokes. And we're just going to keep on rolling. And again, this got to pay attention to those signs it says 40 miles per hour around this curve and that's because as you can see it's not ex it's one of those long curves and you can easily uh, overshoot this thing if you're going too fast Right now we're about we're about a good six seven minutes outside of Sandy Ridge right now. 
not far at all. You're going to notice the terrain start to change even further. As you can see, you know, the, the curves that instead of the curves being flat, they're downhill curves, uphill curves. But it just makes for a good driving experience, especially if you've got the, uh, the type of vehicle that uh, handles curves well and provides a smooth ride for you. You can really have a, um, a good time just going out for a ride. And uh, even though it seems like a long way to drive, once you get to uh, once you get to get to Sandy Ridge and you start seeing all the the once spectacular views, it's well well worth the drive. And uh, I mean, as you can see, you know, it's just a, a small small town, a lot of hills, like I said. A lot of curves, and a, just a lot of wide open space, to be honest with you. It's good to take drives like this. It just really clears your head. It just allows you to, to just be out, you know? And if you notice, I don't know if you were able to see that sign, the lighting is a little rough because there's some, little, some thin clouds. But once you come into Stokes County from uh, Rockingham, the road signs are changed, the, the road sign color is changed to brown. And then there's also black signs to signify private roads. I mean, like I said, there's really not a lot out here um, except for spectacular views and wide open space. And really, that's what attracts a lot of people to, uh, to drive out here and to live out here. School, a school up here, you get the Sandy Ridge Elementary. Once I get up here to where the elementary school is, I'll cut the video and head back into Rockingham. And I mean, as you can see, these roads kind of stretch for miles and miles. It's really wonderful. Now once you get up here, this brings you to 704 East and 704 West. Then naturally we're going to keep going. We're going to be going westward. And here we are, just about. Once we get up to uh, Sandy Ridge. Hmm, I can smell where they just put fresh asphalt down here to uh, kind of patch the roads up. I mean, just an excellent, excellent area. 
there you see the gas town uh, gas station right there for those who I mean it's just a really nice small town you know you're not gonna find a, and of course you gotta watch that speed limit again because it's 35 coming through here and you don't want to be caught flying around because uh, you will get pulled quickly as you, I mean as you can see in a lot of small We're, you know, we're up here, and of course, as you can see, it's still the Webs the Wesley, Wesley Webster Highway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get up to uh, Beasley School Road, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn back, turn this bad, bad, bad boy back around. But, you know, speed limit changes to 55. Let you go a little bit faster. I mean, like, like I said, I don't know if you guys can really see that too well, but just lovely scenery. Lovely. It really doesn't get any better than this. I mean, honestly. I really wish I had been able to use my HD camera because you guys really, really are in for a treat when you come up here. And I really just wanted to showcase it the best I could. Um, but it can be a little difficult when you're not when you're not working with the best equipment. I mean, as you can see, there are a lot of motorcyclists and things like that. Hope Beasley Road. And, I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I mean, I really encourage anybody that's able to, to really just come up here. You know, just come up here and experience Sandy Ridge something you definitely will not regret. Now once I get up here a little bit further, I'm just going to turn my turn back around. Beasley School Road. Here we go. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. Soon I'm gonna head head on back. Just gotta find somewhere to turn around up here. And I found that place. I'm gonna go ahead and turn, just turn back around here. Sorry guys, the video's gonna have to be cut for a second while I just back up here so that I don't end up getting stuck.
is with a lot of these a lot of these uh, mountain areas it's very easy to, to get stuck uh, they don't leave very much room so just a word to the wise Really, I mean, you just, you're not going to find a place that's just absolutely gushing with, with beauty here. And, I mean, there's not a lot of traffic, so you can actually enjoy the views that you're, that you're being given. Alright guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed the, this little ride along. I'm going to head back into Rockingham County now and uh, you know I'll see you guys, uh, you know leave me your thoughts, you know uh, give me some feedback, you know like it if you like the video and uh, if you didn't like the video, you know you can always hit the thumbs down or whatever and let me know what you didn't like about it. But I think it was, I think it was a pretty good uh, experience for you guys to see some a part of North Carolina that not a lot of people get to experience. So um, yeah. Anyways, I'm headed back into Rockingham, and I will catch you guys in the next video.